Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Bangladesh in Crisis, our series that has been looking in depth at the situation in Bangladesh. As always, we'll be going through the top news stories and all of the developments taking place. And with me in the studio to discuss some of these matters is the International Affairs Secretary of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party here in Britain, Mahidur Rahman. And also joining us is the spokesperson for Jamaat Islami Party, Abu Bakr Mullah. Thank you both for joining us and welcome to the program. Now, uh, violence on the streets of Bangladesh has worsened over the last week since the execution of Jamaat leader Abdul Qadir Mullah. With more details on this, here's Yasmin Khatun. As Bangladesh celebrates the anniversary of its independence, violence has continued on the streets. At least seven activists have been killed in clashes between pro-government forces and opposition protesters. Jamaat Islam activists have been targeting various government offices after Assistant Secretary General of Jamaat Islam Abdul Qadir Mullah was executed last Thursday. The execution was the first to have been carried out as the International Crimes Tribunal in Bangladesh continues to try individuals responsible for war crimes during the country's independence war in 1971. The decision to hang Qadir Mullah has drawn widespread condemnation from political allies, including Turkey, Britain, Tunisia and the United States. Amid an uprising from the opposition and condemnation from the international community, thousands of people in Dhaka city participated in a rally over the weekend to celebrate the execution of the religious leader, shouting slogans of victory. কাদের মোল্লার फांसी বিরুদ্ধে যে হরতাল দিয়েছে সেই হরতাল যে নারায়ণগঞ্জ বাসী মেনে নেয়নি সেটা বোঝানোর জন্য এবং বিজয় দিবসকে স্বাগত জানানোর জন্য মোল্লার এক্সিকিউশন হ্যাজ এক্সাসারবেটেড টেনশনস দ্যাট ওয়ার অলরেডি রানিং হাই থ্রেটেনিং টু ক্রিপল বাংলাদেশের ইকোনমি আর্লিয়ার টুডে আওয়ামী লীগ লিডার মুসলিম উদ্দিন ওয়াজ হ্যাক টু ডেথ ইন সাতখিরা উইথ দ্য জামাত ইসলাম অ্যাক্টিভিস্ট ডাইং ইন হসপিটাল আফটার বিং শট বাই আর্মড অফিসার্স this comes as a further blockade began earlier today. The 18-party allied opposition led by the Bangladesh Nationalist Party have enforced the 72-hour transport blockade set to end on Friday. Amid the escalating violence, the US House Committee on Foreign Affairs is set to hold a hearing on Bangladesh. Yasmin Khatun reporting for Islam Channel, Bangladesh in Crisis. Pressure on the people of Syria. Um, Abu Bakr Mullah, if I can start with you. Um, you're the spokesperson for Jamaat Islami Party. Uh, it was one of your leaders that was executed. But how does it make you feel when you see scenes of people celebrating the execution? Uh, this is one corner of the extremist uh, uh, group who actually do not care for the rights of the people, who do not care for the rule of law, who do not care for the due process in trial, who do not care for fair trial. They are just driven by uh, a political uh, um, enmity, and they are just driven by uh, a so-called political division in Bangladesh, propelled by false media propaganda against an Islamic political party. The mood in your party right now must be terribly somber. It is, it is very shocking, and it has shocked the concerns people of Bangladesh and outside, uh, outside as well. Naturally, people have reacted, and the people's uprising has started. Government's uh, judicial killing is being seriously criticized by the people in Bangladesh and the international community. And most of the major international uh, legal community and the human rights organization have criticized the tri tribunal and the government's attempts to execute Qadir Mullah unfairly. Government has not listened to the people of Bangladesh. Government has not listened to the international community. So it is very clear and obvious mm. to the people of Bangladesh. It is just a murder to uproot a third largest political party and the biggest Islamic party in Bangladesh. Nothing else. It is not for the sake of rule of law or justice. It is for the political vendetta only. Mr. Rahman, the government of Bangladesh says it tried these men that it suspects of war crimes from the 1971 liberation struggle as the main 
opposition party um, to the uh, Awami League government. Should we be concerned? Do you think we should be concerned for the other men that are currently being held? Of course, uh, we are uh, those who are law-abiding citizens and those who are conscious citizens about the human rights and the uh, right justice and everything in Bangladesh. That we want to see that the good governance and good law and order is being upheld mm. by any government. At present, Bangladesh government, particularly led by Sheikh Hasina, is totally failing. There is no law and order situation. It is as Mr. Abu Mullah has said. It is a political agenda they have mm. taken, and all the uh, the ICT international, you know, the tribunal that has been set up in Bangladesh. It is politically motivated. Judges were questioned because mm. their political affiliation in the past, and they are uh, even though the uh, Kader Mullah's you know, recent uh, verdict that was given, you know that uh, the appellate division has given the uh, verdict on life sentence, you yeah. know, but later on they change it. So there is no justice in Bangladesh. Whatever governments thinks, that is the the, the international tribunals is making the, making their decision according to the you know desire of the government in yeah. in our country. So this is where we are concerned. As an opposition party, we would like to see that the democracy, human rights, law and order situation is properly uphold in the country mm. uh, in a proper manner. Yeah. But uh, this government has totally violated all this code of conduct. So unfortunately, the country in the verge of uh, civil war, as you could see, the, the people, those who have come out on the street mm. against the decision of the present tribunal, which is tribunals has always been, well, since it was set up, always been under question. Their integrity, their honesty, their yeah. you know, political affiliations and everything, people are aware of all these of things. Course. Now, you mentioned total lawlessness, but the government is blaming that entirely on both of your parties. Are you denying that the BNP has anything to do with the violence that we see of on the streets? Not, of course not. Let me tell you one thing. Recent, uh, uh, some of the stories that, uh, the cases that has been done uh, by the print media, electronic media yeah. uh, that we have seen, Aumilik Jubalik leaders, mm. activists, and this is the student league. wing of yeah, the Awamilik Awami Awami League, Awami League. and their youth wing of the mm. Awamilik League have been, you know, seen doing the all the violences, mm. burning buses. But what about your party? I want to know exactly about BNP we, members. We don't believe in violence. My leader has, you know, I mean, clearly stated in mm. front of the electronic media, through press conference and everything, those who are the real culprit. Those who are doing all this, you know, I mean, violence and killing people, they should be brought to justice. But government has an agenda, mm. I mean, and their duty to arrest those real criminals. But unfortunately, they are not arresting those real criminals, and they are arresting the, B, you know, the BNP and Jamaat leaders by through political motivation and filing false cases. This is not right. You know, basically, they have taken an agenda to eliminate their opposition, you know, leaders and activists to. You know, uh, bring down the the their yeah. you know, struggles if I can bring Mr. The, for the this. sake of democracy. Um, the BNP has called strike after strike. Do you think this is contributing to the atmosphere and the climate in Bangladesh right now? Uh, if I can add uh, Mahidur Rahman on his earlier points, uh, which contributed the violence. There are two things which contributed uh, the people surprising. Mm. The government is calling its violence. One is about the unfair trial and the unfair execution of Qadir Mullah. Another is that it is very clear to the people of Bangladesh. Mm. 150 MPs have been elected uh, um, uncontestedly, without any contest by the others. Mm. And BNP and its allies, Jamaat Islami has not participated in the election. So government has won the victory. Mm. Government has won the election. Let me, uh, let me clear my points. And BNP and Jamaat both are committed to the democracy. Mm. We do not endorse any sort of violence. That is governments and its security forces. That is, um, um, uh, uh, that is creating an atmosphere of conflict, mm. and that is opposing and uh, stopping the opposition to go yeah. to the go to the street to observe peaceful protest and peaceful violence. But blockades aren't considered uh, just peaceful protests. Blockades, protest. is, blockades I mean, when is you blockade, part of the democratic right of the opposition. 
and it 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 is it is part of the democratic practice in Bangladesh. Yeah. But when you attack the country's infrastructure, you lift up railway uh, tracks and, and things nobody like should that. have nobody should have. But as Mahiduruman has clearly mentioned, in Shatkira and other parts of the Bangladesh, the the members of the ruling Awamalik Party and each student swing mm -hmm. have been found and caught. And one of the leaders have been already arrested and summarily uh, punished on attacking the minorities. Rather than telling to the media the truth, truth and the facts, the government is blaming to, to get the support from the India and the international community. Then BNP and Jamaat Islami is attacking on the minority. BNP and Jamaat Islami is uh, pursuing violence. That is government security forces. If I can refer to you the Human Rights Watch statement today, uh -huh. the, the uh, leaders, the, the, the properties and the houses of the Jamaat Islami leader have been um, bulldozed mm. and at least 20 houses has been vandalized. And not only that, Repeat Action Battalion Forces, the special uh, 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 special force yeah. created by the government has been used to go to the houses of the opposition yeah. and to kill in the street and in the house. So the opposition leaders are not safe in their houses and they're not safe in the street, even though even they are not safe in the jail. Mm. So, so that is the government who is responsible for creating a cre environment of conflict and letting the country into violence and civil war. Okay, Mr. Rahman, if I can come back to you on this ma matter of the opposition strikes. Um, y yes, the government might be responsible for enforcing law and order, but uh, you know, you could have, your party could have done something to prevent all of this. I mean, it creates a lot of frustration when you close down shops and when people can't go to work. Do you not agree with that? 